Welcome back to the Cabalus series, where in the last one I teamed a whole bunch of creatures, and specifically it's the Paleo Theory and the Paleo Counter Tour. Uh, and I've spent a lot of time basically breeding them up, trying to get the, the perfect breeding uh, creatures. Well, I say perfect, but where they've basically got the same stats in the male and the female, so every baby you get has all of the stats of the parents. And uh, I spent quite a bit of time on that, just so that I could get myself, uh, and ended up being a mutated one, though, one of the ones that I kept for myself for the Counter Tour. Got a nice green colour instead of the red and then the theory as well was um just the stock standard but yeah once you start pumping weight into them to carry stuff around they, they turn into brilliant farming creatures the old theory uh, and beyond that we'll uh, have a look at some of the other escapades that i get up to okay well i think i need to go and find myself first of all a pteranodon I have to complement my uh, current set of dinosaurs and with that we can go flying around we can try and find an argent we can drag it into a trap and once I've got an Argent, I can then use that for the farming creatures like the Double Dickerous and the Anki. I can carry them around and farm up a bunch of metal, a bunch of stone, and then I can turn this little plateau that is my home into a giant castle. So uh, I think, yeah, we need to get a little first flyer so we can travel the map and then uh, get ourselves the Argent. And as you probably noticed, there seems to be a Deinonychus nest nearby, so we're also going to go and grab that. Also, just quickly, let's check this little treasure node. Ah, oh, it's up. Nice. It's really nice having one of the little treasure locations directly under my base. You can just keep coming past, check if it's there or not. Ooh, what's that? Desert clock goggles. Yeah, oh, okay. Diplodocus and a Pteranodon saddle. What luck. Oh, I'm totally going to use that saddle. I should be able to use... Oh, yeah, no, I'll use the desert. It's much better for temperature. So, um... Yeah, we'll roll with that. Alright, I can't see any of them around. Let's grab this. And we'll have a quick look at what level it is. And I do need another uh, one of these, because I've got two males, I think it is. No, I need to get a female. It's like level 50, so it's um, not great. But I actually only want it for the, uh, uh, the Deinonychus eggs, so that I can actually make the extraordinary kibble. That's really the only reason why I want them. So, uh, yeah. All I need is a low level female to go with the male that I already have. And then I can just start breeding them to take their eggs and I'll turn them into really, really good kibble. Okay, there's one up there. What level are you? 25. Oh, hang on. Oh, wait. There's so many diables in this area. I haven't put it to team in yet. It was only level 15. There's usually always one in the pack, which is like level 130 plus. Yeah, level 25 is not going to cut it. There's another one. Look at that one. 135. Yep, you'll do. All right, let's go and get it. Here we go. All right, looks like it's about to land too. Nice timing. All right, let's just get the turret on. Don't shoot the stego in the butt. Hey, what was that? Not a headshot. That's better. These things really do go down quite quickly. Um, yeah, so I think I've only actually got normal meat on my uh, car now. I might need to uh, go back to base and actually get some uh, mutton. Because there's so many sheep on this map that Really, mutton's probably the better way to go about it. Yeah, I think I'll go back and I'll grab the mutton that I have. Uh, it's so much better. Uh, oh, hang on, that's the wrong way. Go back and get some mutton because it's going to tame up so much faster if I use that stuff. Oh, hang on. I don't even need to go back. As I was saying, there are so many sheep around here. She can't hit for some reason. There we go. <laughs> I have so much mutton, it's just crazy. So much nicer for taming the... Uh, uh, the Kano type creatures. Anyway, uh, we'll get this guy all teamed up and uh, yeah, should be pretty quick from here. I haven't had much luck finding any Argents. Oh, that actually might be one down there. It's like the first one I've seen flying around this central mountain. Alright, what level? Uh, 49. That's uh, not what I want. Um, 
Yeah, the game, like, there doesn't seem to be any more around here. I'm a little bit surprised. I would have thought that they'd all be all over this place. Well, we'll try over there. Okay, there's a couple more. Let's have a look. 11. 27. It's really bad levels. Damn. It's Griffin. Oh, Griffin would have been really nice, but it's a terrible level too. We got 27. Like that's, oh, okay, there's another one there. 71. That's half decent. I mean, I really want something closer to 150 though. To try and remember this spot, we'll keep flying around and maybe get a better one. Okay, I think I saw something over this ridge. We're just gonna land and have a quick look. All right. Yes, that's what we want. A 145. That's uh, brilliant. And there's a nice flat spot here. So we're gonna use this spot. We'll set up a trap, and we're gonna get that thing down. I wonder if we get both. Right. Oh, it's flying out. Not that it matters. Okay. Sit. Yeah, and they're both attacking the trap. Very nice. Let's get our car now out. Alright. Kill this one. Unless it's really good. Let's have a quick look. Uh, 15. No, it's terrible. Alright. You need to die. Hey, give extra prime meat. Nice. Okay, it's down. Nice. Let's have a look at its level. Ooh, 230 melee. That is going to be amazing. Yeah, 2000 health. The health doesn't matter so much because they can regenerate. But yeah, 230 base melee. Ooh, hopefully, it gets a lot in the levels. You're my 135 as well? Yep, female. And what are you? Oh, female. Damn it. I mean, I could get it just to check its level, but I don't know if I want to. Alright, let's check out what we got. Oh, nice. 355. Oh, that's beautiful. Love it. Well, unfortunately, I couldn't find the uh, other Argent. It seems to have flown off somewhere or maybe despawned. Uh, however, I did find in the ruins near where I was teaming, it's a bunch of ice wyverns. I think there's actually uh, probably going to be some nests in here. The only problem I've got is that this is my only pteranodon. I mean, they are easy enough to get, but I think I'd prefer to breed up a couple so that I can just have them on hand whenever I want with really good stats. Uh, and maybe even a bred one will get some extra speed. And that way I can sort of duck in, grab eggs and just... yeah fly out real bloody first. So uh, we might call it there and uh, head back to base and see what else we can do. Maybe we um, find another Argent, uh, a male to go with his female and then uh, breed them up and get a good pair as well. Alright, looks like there's one over there. Are you a male? You are. You're not great as a level. I mean I can breed the stats out. The one I got had a really good melee. Um, yeah, we might as well take it. I mean, it's the best one I've seen, and I've been flying around heaps. So, we'll take it, and uh, yeah, we'll breed up some Argents. What was that? Is that a, a small owl? I don't think I've ever seen. It is an owl. Oh, it's one of the modern creatures. I was going to say, I've never seen an owl before. Uh, I think we should probably go and tame that while we're waiting for the Argent. I wonder... Um, yeah, you got plenty of stuff. I think you'll be fine. We'll take a little bit of mutton. We'll chuck that down on our hopper. And we'll see if it likes... That's amazing. I definitely want that. Hopefully it's a passive team. Alright. Does it run away? Or can we just get it? Yep. Hey, One feed. Oh, how nice is that? Alright, come on. 
Hey, there we go. Pick it up. Come on. There we go. Let's have a look. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's been a very lucrative uh, trip over to the snow biome. Nice. I wonder what they do, or whether they're just a cool creature to hang on to. Well, either I lost the recordings or I forgot to record. I'm not exactly sure what's happened here. But uh, in between breeding up a uh, set of Argents and whatever else, I went back up to the snow biome to look for some of the Kairuku and got a couple of those. Uh, and I ran across this creature here. That you're seeing on the screen now, the uh, snow leopard. It's uh, one of the modded creatures, which is a bit like a thylacolio, but reskinned to be a, a snow leopard. And um, basically, I got it, knocked it out, and uh, it's now part of the uh, team as well. Some um, amazing looking modded creatures in this. I'm loving it. Anyway, as you can see, I'm going to knock this thing down and get it tamed to join the crew. We'll show off what it looks like afterwards. I love how you can ride this one uh, without a saddle. It's really cool. Alright. Yes, it is like a thylacolio. Oh, come on. I don't know, I've got a lot of ping, but you can do it. Hey, there we go. The tail is so bushy. I love it. Alright, let's take less full damage just like a normal one too. There was no sins there. A little bit odd. It could just be where I am up on the uh, thing up here. I have no idea what I want to do stat-wise for it because it's only pretty low level. Uh, put it away for now. Maybe in my trips I'll find another one. The last thing I'll show off is my greenhouse build. Now I've gone ahead and used the Atlas uh, greenhouse pieces for my build. Uh, they've got this lovely aesthetic look with the, the wood and you can change the variants that have interesting looks with the, I guess, the little bits and pieces. So you can see here the, the variation of the lines on the glass, with the bits of wood. Uh, I made it too high. I only, made, I basically went for the circular design. I put two glasses high. There's a well that actually has been placed in the middle because the model allows you to do that. And then the Atlas uh, crop plots are these nice circular ones as well. So they've got a really nice aesthetic to them as well. Uh, after that, I basically got myself a water wheel. Um, it's slightly different to the normal water well. You need to go and get yourself a windmill and that will actually work on top of these new placeable ones from the mod and that then irrigates everything around it and so it was uh, quite a nice little addition the only problem i had is that the roof actually kind of clashes with the windmill itself so i ended up leaving the center of the the roof open and just put the glass over the top of the planters and that worked really nicely uh, other than that i wanted more than just the stock standard amount of the first floor so i arrayed the second floor with planters put some ramps uh, to access them and then i had tons and tons of crop I guess lastly, the Soul Terminal mod allows you to basically put your creatures in their cryopods inside the, or their soul pods, into here, and you basically get all the, the poop and fertilizer. Thanks for listening in. If you made it this far, make sure you go ahead and like, comment, and subscribe if you haven't already, as all these things really help with the YouTube algorithm for getting the videos out there so that people can see them, and I really appreciate you for doing such things. Other than that, go and check out my Arc Down Under series. There's three videos up as of recording this one, and I'm working on the fourth one right now. Uh, I'm basically doing the full story progression of a, an Australian who wakes up on the beach inside the game as if he's basically been transported to another world after a night of drinking. Uh, and it's been a fun little story creation that I've actually been doing over there. Uh, anyway, thanks for listening in. I'll catch you in the next one, and I hope you have a good one.